My name is Songo Didiza, Founder and Managing Director at Green Building Design Group. In our role as providers of sustainability strategy, we recognize that every action counts. From daily resource consumption to data governance, our solutions cater to the diverse needs of our clients, helping them craft comprehensive sustainability strategies that align with their business objectives and stakeholder expectations. Central to our approach is ESG data analytics, the cornerstone of informed decision making. By harnessing the power of data, we empower organizations to measure, monitor, and manage the ESG performance effectively. Through tailored sustainability strategies, ESG training materials, and integrated data analytics support, we empower our clients to navigate the complexities of sustainability with confidence and clarity, thereby driving continuous improvement and demonstrating tangible progress towards their respective sustainability goals. This is why we have introduced this three-part educational course. This is part one of our ESG series, titled Navigating ESG, a path towards sustainability. So, let's delve in. Navigating ESG begins by unpacking the global definition of sustainability and or sustainable development and its mission to define a just and equitable society as it is defined in the Brunton Report of 1987. This definition serves as a foundation of the ESG framework principles as they are commonly known today. ESG, standing for Environmental, Social and Governance, represents the trinity of sustainability, guiding businesses towards responsible practices and long-term value creation. ESG is an evolving framework that helps companies manage risks and opportunities related to environmental, social and governance factors. In this course, participants will learn about the role of stakeholders, particularly stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder engagement is crucial in ESG and companies should safely consider the interests of employees, customers, suppliers, investors, regulators, and NGOs as part of their ESG strategy formulation. These multivariate interests play a pivotal role in the development of an ESG strategy. An ESG strategy can be understood to be a business approach that integrates environmental, social, and governance factors into the company's operations, into their decision-making processes, as well as the overall strategy. Companies can adopt ESG strategies to achieve positive social impact, attract investors, comply with regulations, and satisfy employees, as well as their various stakeholders. In this course, we will then take the participants through the 12 steps that need to be explored when developing an ESG strategy. At the end of these 12 steps, the participants will be equipped with the necessary tools to integrate ESG into the existing projects. An ESG strategy has a multi-purpose function and can be adopted for ESG integration and ESG investing. These are some of the critical concepts that will be that will enable stakeholders in understanding ESG framework in understanding the ESG framework landscape. So concepts like ESG investing versus ESG integration, different types of investors, effective ESG governance principles the ESG reporting landscape, and finally, a case study will be used to apply the ESG framework that I learned in this course. Part two of the training will focus on the reporting frameworks and data management tools that are used to manage and report on ESG in today's organizations. So I hope you enjoy our three-part ESG series.